I'm doing this on behalf of the planet, of life, of my niece and nephew especially, who I cannot look in the face anymore and know that I've done nothing. That scaring is commensurate to the damage that has been done to the planet. This action is commensurate to its people. We're not scaring anybody, we're not threatening anybody. We're taking non-violent direct action on behalf of life. Are you willing to be arrested for your actions today? I'm willing to go to jail for my actions. What else can we do at this point in time? If not us, who? If not when? If not now, when? Staff, if you can hear something in the background, sorry, one of my neighbours is playing something very loud. It doesn't normally. But uh, environmental activists like the one you just saw have blocked parts of central London in the climate change protest. And this is, again, one of those sort of conceptual things, very much like free speech, in fact, that to regular people walking around, it doesn't seem like it's a real problem, does it? And when you're wandering around and you realise that, you know, everything's fine, you doesn't seem to be any impending doom, you know, there's no great army at the gates. It's very hard to persuade people that, in fact, you have something that you're speaking to further down the, down the line that is a lot more concerning. And so you end up just looking like some sort of kook because there appears to be no immediate danger, even if there may well be some long-term danger, which I'm sure in the case of, like, climate change there is, if we don't clean up the planet. The, I, I mean, I don't know, so I'm, I'm not going to comment. But uh, like last time, um, I don't know. So let, let's just assume there is some veracity to what they're saying, because otherwise they probably wouldn't be doing this. You know, if there wasn't some kernel of truth there, then they probably wouldn't be doing this. And even if it, we frame it in this sort of, is it good or bad to have a clean planet? Well, obviously it's good to have a clean planet, so that's what we should do anyway. But the problem is, it's not really the West polluting the planet now, is it? It's really the East doing it. And so now we come to the point where... We have activists in the West who are extremely concerned about this, very middle-class, well-educated people, and they're making a nuisance of themselves and making themselves violent in an attempt to try and encourage change where no real change is going to make a significant impact. But apparently, this protest even managed to get violent, which is quite remarkable. Arrests have been made after environmental activists vandalised the London headquarters of oil giant Shell in protests aimed at grinding the capital to a halt. I don't think there were enough people to grind it to a halt. But I'm sure it was a, a nuisance for a number of people. In what initially described it as a non-violent act of resistance and a rebellion... <laughs> rebellion? Protesters are blocking five central locations and demanding the government declares a climate emergency. However, Sky News reports that the demonstrations have turned violent after windows were targeted in the Shell Building in Lambeth, South East London. Which is plausible, because these people are protesting Shell. Because they are a petrol company, an oil company. Police said that three men have been arrested on suspicion of criminal damage and have been taken to a London at police station, and one woman was arrested outside the building and put in a police van. Photos showed the, the building had been vandalised with graffiti and glass, of, and the glass of one of the revolving doors at the entrance was smashed to pieces. When Sky News asked if it was worth it, she said, oh god, it was just, I want to protect the future of our children and wildlife. And that involves smashing up doors, does it? And vandalising the walls with graffiti. Is that how how have you actually protected the future for your children and wildlife? This is why like at all of our protests we are completely like all of the free speech stuff we did like the Dan Killer March totally totally peaceful totally um totally just like respectful of what's what's happening but we were just making ourselves heard which was the right thing but these people seem to be becoming extremists this seems to be becoming some sort of new religion the, you know when jordan peterson says uh, things like you should take on responsibility to to give your life meaning well this is the sort of thing that i'm talking about like these people are taking on responsibility for protecting the future of our planet and it was totally worth it to them totally worth it I, oh God, it was just, I just wanted to protect the future of my children and wildlife. <laughs> I mean, I just want to secure, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how similar that sounds to the Nazis' 14 words, isn't it, really? Because I think it's the same impulse that's driving them, this ideological conception of the future that is assumed to come true. And the thing is, all of these predictions very rarely do, because life is really, really complex. But, um... But I do think that in the case of free speech, we have a point. But of course, I would say that. And that's what the, uh, that's what the climate change process would say about theirs. They'd say, well, I think we really have a point, and here's the proof to show it. So, you know, don't ever choose a side, I guess, is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's... But uh, Shell are criminals. 
Another protester glued her hand to the door of the Shell building, another way of securing the future of our animals, and said, I am willing to be arrested because I stand up for what I believe. Uh, Shell are responsible for a lot of damage that's being caused in our world. I bet they can't really quantify that. Do you think smashing up windows is the right course of action? It is, yeah, because it will damage Hello, you this right? company. Have you glued yourself to the door, I take it? Yes. Hello. Are you willing to be arrested today? I am putting myself and my body in the line. I am willing to be arrested because I... I stand up for what I believe and Shell is responsible for a lot of damage that is being caused in our world. Notice how the cop didn't even try and touch her. Oh, it's a middle-class woman who has apparently glued her hand to the window. Well, we're not going to pull your hand off because, I mean, you know, it glue on glass. How, how tough is that really going to be? But if that was a Tommy supporter doing the same thing, I think they probably would have been a little less patient and a little more rough because a Tommy supporter probably wouldn't have been a middle-class white woman, right? Hundreds of people have also blocked Waterloo Bridge with Transport for London, saying that the crossing was close to traffic in both directions. Trees and trucks were used to obstruct the busy ta- Thames, uh, Thames structure as the, oh, the, the trees, they're the trees. As the campaign group Extinction Rebellion kicked off the protest, sharing pictures on social media of activists walking on the road. Of course. We have taken Waterloo Bridge. I love the way they're talking about this as if it's a revolutionary action. I wonder what kind of political philosophy these people follow. I mean... I'm just saying, this seems kind of similar to eco-fascists. Like, they seem to have many of the same points. I bet if you put their manifesto to each other, they'd probably have a lot to agree on. The busy shopping areas of Marble Arch, Oxford Circus and Piccadilly Circus have been targeted as activists set out to create a festival of action, including people's assemblies, performances, talks, workshops and food. So, insufferable middle-class left-wing protest. Activists, and it got violent as well. A bunch of them were arrested. If this was, if this was any of our protests, like the Day for Freedom, the Brexit Betrayal Rally, the uh, Make Brexit Happen Rally, we've been doing this a lot, haven't we? If and, and all of us, are, you know, violence free. You know, it's been Antifa that have been getting arrested by the cops. Um, but all of us, peaceful as anything. If we'd been smashing up property and obstructing traffic, uh, obs- yeah, obstructing traffic, man, we would have been in so much trouble. That's all I'm saying. We would have been in absolutely loads of trouble. It was supported by the actress Dame Emma Thompson and the Archbishop of Canterbury, a former Archbishop of Canterbury. So they were the ones, uh, they were they were notable names supporting it, which is nice. We wish to make peace with ourselves by making peace with our neighbour, Earth and God. I guess that was the Archbishop. All Transport for London have to say about it is the safety of our customers and staff is our number one priority and we're working closely with the police to manage the impact on London's transport network. We are permissive of this. This is acceptable, somehow. We would encourage people to check their journeys before they travel. Organisers say the rebellion will be bringing London to a standstill for up to two weeks. Really? Really, they're allowed to just do that? They shut down London for two weeks? That's middle-class privilege right there. They'll be blocking five of the city's busiest and most iconic locations in a non-violent, peaceful act of rebellion where they invite people to join them several days of creative, artist-led resistance. Well, it's not non-violent, is it? The police have got to break this up now. They've already got violent. They've already smashed up property. What are you waiting for? They didn't do it. They didn't do it like they said they were going to do it. Are we just going to pretend that didn't happen? Is it going, not going to matter that you arrested four people? Does that not matter? I mean, look at this. This looks like a climate extremist group that's shutting down London. And because they're white middle class, and and that's it, you know, they, they're white and middle class, they can just get away with it. Is that how this works? Is that how this works? Women led as well, I suppose. So we're just going to leave them to her. Oh, they glued the hand to a window. Oh, don't worry about it then. Leave her there. Jesus. And apparently Monday we'll also see people in at least 80 cities in more than 33 countries hold similar demonstrations. Wow, Sky News. It's almost like this is an advert for this. It's weird. I mean, it's almost like this is something of which you approve and therefore you're going to promote it. But anyway, you know, but I suppose all is not fair in love and war.